What's up guys, I'm Allie, this is Treat Yourself, and today I'm going to be showing you the books that I got for my second book outlet book haul. This one was just basically, it was almost my birthday and I wanted to treat myself a little bit and I have a really good list of books that I've been waiting for for a while, so let's just get into the books. So the first one that I picked up was Ted Bundy, Conversations with a Killer. I'm pretty sure this is kind of just about um, his interviews when he was on death row. Kind of coincides with the Netflix documentary that is actually really good. I have watched like half of it so I think this is going to be a really good book and um, go hand in hand with the tapes and it's just a really cool creepy cover as well. And then the second one I got was People Kill People by Ellen Hopkins. I think this is more young adult, but she was literally my favorite author when I was a teenager. And um, I just had to pick up her latest book because she's great. She's amazing. I've literally read every single one of her other books. Like this whole list of books I have read every single one. So I wasn't about to quit my streak, but this is basically about some kids like six teens in Arizona and one of them has a gun and shoots someone I'm pretty sure so it's just kind of the story about that and the different perspectives of the six teens. And then the next one I got was The Kept Woman by Karen Slaughter. This is just you know in Karen Slaughter fashion a crime murder takes place um, and they find bloody footprints near the murdered person and discover that there's a second victim who is missing and so they're trying to find the second victim and it's just a bunch of crazy stuff happens like all of her other books so I'm really excited to get to this one as well. And then the fourth one that I picked was Hidden Bodies and this is the second one to you by Caroline Katniss. This kind of coincides with the second season of you which I've already watched so it'll be pretty cool to read the book and see the different similarities that take place. And then the next book that I got was The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain. I have heard really good things about this from Gabby Reads and then also from Jacqueline Wheeler who is the owner of my book club. It's basically about this woman who is widowed by the Vietnam War and her baby is born with a heart defect and her baby is going to die if she doesn't do something. But in the 1970s, they don't have any technology or whatever to save her baby. So she goes forward in time, I'm pretty sure, to get the technology that will hopefully save her baby. And so all for the love of her unborn child, she is making these crazy time traveling thing so this is kind of like a sci-fi ish kind of novel which is not really my strong suit but i heard it was really good and pretty emotional and then the next one i got was a well-behaved woman by therese ann fowler and i read um z for zelda so she talks about zelda fitzgerald in her other book and i really loved it raved about it for a long time um and she is very imaginative and is really good at like putting plot lines together that's mixed with fiction and history so she does the same thing with the wife of William Vanderbilt and um, her name was Alva Smith and she talks about how her success and fame claim to fame by being married into the Vanderbilt family is basically not all that it is you know cracked up to be uncovers a lot of that stuff about wealth, status, and privilege, and then she also is betrayed by him, I'm pretty sure, so she is just kind of at a crossroads of what to do. And then the next one that I got was called A Beautiful Terrible Thing by Jen Waite, and I actually don't know what this book is about. I'm pretty sure it's about like a marriage that is like not everything that it seems to be. Like after a disturbing email sparks suspicion leading to an investigation of who this man really is and what was really happening in their marriage so there's like it alternates between before and after chapters so i think that's pretty cool and um i don't know i just picked this one up because it looks pretty cool like the cover is really pretty and i thought that it would be a good book i think that it's just like a domestic thriller kind of thing and how fairy tales can become a nightmare sometimes so 
that'll be interesting and then the last one i got was also from therese ann fowler and it's called a good neighborhood and it's basically about these two neighbors and i don't think they like each other a lot of different values and stuff but their children fall in love and become a couple so they're kind of battling that and then they're also like fighting over a tree in the backyard or something i don't know lots of drama so i think it'll be good and tree sam fowler is like really one of my favorite authors because she is just super good at being imaginative and kind of taking some things from history but also writing fiction very well so those are actually all the books that i got from book outlet i think that my order was only like 30 dollars, which is really awesome for eight books that is my book haul and um comment down below if you want to see more book hauls because i had a birthday book haul but i didn't know if i should post that one or this one so we'll see if i get to that one as well but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching